the US dollar is likely to close the trading week with a decline. Earlier today, the US dollar index was near its monthly low. Traders doubt that the Fed will continue taking aggressive measures concerning its monetary policy tightening. According to the recent meeting results, the regulator is planning to raise the key interest rate by 50 basis points in June and July. However, what will happen after that is still unknown. It's highly possible that the Fed will take a pause. In our video calendar on InstaForex TV channel, we will find out what events may affect the market sentiment early next week. On a Monday, Germany, the main eurozone economy, is going to disclose its inflation report. According to the forecast, inflation may reach a new record high. In April, the indicator hit the highest level last seen in 1981. In May, Germany's inflation may accelerate to 7.5%. However, analysts still believe that the consumer price growth may slacken to 7.3% or 7.1%. On a Monday, we will learn uh, which forecast will come true. On a Tuesday, China will publish its report on the business activity in the manufacturing sector. Since China is still combating coronavirus, the largest industrial and logistics centers are closed. All this has a negative influence on the whole sector. That's why analysts suppose that business activity in China's manufacturing sector may become lower. Thus, manufacturing PMI may advance to 48 points, still remaining below the 50 points per short that separates growth from contraction. Against the backdrop, the Australian dollar is likely to lose value as the currency of China's main supplier of raw materials. Also, on Tuesday, traders will focus on the information on the Eurozone economic conditions. The fact is that the Eurozone is going to unveil its inflation figures. Forecasts are gloomy again, as the consumer price growth may show another acceleration. In May, consumer prices may increase by 7.6% on a yearly basis. At present, the inflation rate is exceeding the ECB's targeted level by three times, and this fact is forcing the ECB to take radical measures. However, monetary authorities are refraining from knee-jack decisions, explaining high inflation by such temporary factors as the Russia-Ukraine conflict and China's lockdown. It's quite possible that traders will also receive positive news on Tuesday. The fact is that Canada continues disclosing strong macroeconomic data, while the United States is reporting a decline in economic growth. Canada's economy is expected to increase by 1.4% in the first quarter. Canada's economy continues expanding quite rapidly regardless of logistic problems caused by China's lockdown and the risks of energy crisis. Australia is also dealing with the economic issues, displaying a confident rise in the economic growth pace. On a Wednesday, Australia is going to publish its GDP figures for the first quarter. The economic growth may accelerate to 4.2% from 3% per annum. The Australian dollar is likely to gain in value amid the expectations of a monetary policy tightening by the Reserve Bank of Australia. While traders of the Asia-Pacific region are pricing in expectations of the key interest rate hike by the Australian Central Bank, the Canadian regulator is getting ready to announce its decision. On June 1, the Bank of Canada may decide to raise the benchmark rate by 50 basis points to 1.5 from 1%. It will be the third rate hike in a row. The regulator has never taken such aggressive measures. Such a sharp rise in the benchmark rate was caused by surging inflation. Against the, the backdrop, buyers of the Canadian dollar are likely to become active. However, traders should remember about the US dollar output potential. A auctions of the US dollar traders will be determined by the US manufacturing report prepared by ISM. However, the data is likely to support other currencies instead of the US dollar. The indicator is likely to go on falling, thus reflecting lower activity amid declining demand, high inflation and 
disruptions in supply chains. You have watched Forex Trader Calendar on InstaForex TV channel. We wish you profitable trading with InstaForex. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. And see you soon.